Form Titan video and in this video we'll talk about how to add validation rules for file upload. Very very awesome little feature and I'll demonstrate all five different validation rules that we have available. First type file upload, drag the element onto the layout, let's make it a bit wider. Now you can write some validation rules on it so you can click on it and say set value rules. Now there are five we've introduced one, two, three, four, and five, and I'll go through each one of them right now. So we can say max file size in megabytes must be, I don't know, let's say uh, the max file we can accept is three megabyte. Anything above that, we can't accept it. So let's try two actually. Okay. And then you can write a custom error message saying file has exceeded over the um, file exceeded over the amount over two megabytes for example something like that so once I do that I click save my preview and then let's go ahead and upload a file so let's see have I got anything okay so this one's over 2.9 megabytes so remember we can only accept two so if I choose this I will get an error saying file has exceeded over two megabytes. So very awesome. And now if I go ahead and try and upload something that's underneath that, under two megabytes, for example, this one, the validation error is good. That's one example. Let's go and try another one. So we'll say max file size in kilobytes. So here we can say Max file size in kilobytes must be, uh, so we can accept, let's say 500. File, and if anything over that, we can't accept it. So we'll say a file has exceeded over 500 KB kilobytes, cannot accept. So, again, let's go and put this to a play. So, if I choose something like this, which is 985 kilobytes, it can't accept it because it says the file has exceeded 500 kilobytes, cannot accept. But if I go under that, so we'll choose 150, it's fine. That's another example. Let's go on to the next one, which is minimum file size in megabytes. This is where we can say, okay, the file must be minimum this size, whatever we're going to specify. We'll say, okay, and this one, the, file, the minimum file size must be one megabyte. Okay, and here we'll say file has not reached the minimum one megabyte. Can't accept. So here we're saying the file must at least be one megabytes for us to accept. So here I'll go ahead and upload this, which is 985 kilobytes. So we, we won't be able to accept that because it has not reached the minimum one megabyte. If I choose something like 2.9, it is happy because it reaches that limit. Next one. Next one is minimum file size in kilobytes. So here we can say the minimum file size must be 500 kilobytes. And here we can say file has not reached 500 kilobytes, can't accept. So save, preview. And here, if I try to upload a file which is 150 kilobytes, it says file has not reached minimum 500 kilobytes, can't accept. However, if I choose 566, it's happy with that. Next, this one is awesome feature because it says the file must not be empty. Okay, and we can write an error message saying your file is empty. Please add something to it. Now, what does that look like? So I created a simple TXT file, uh, which has nothing in it. It's just completely blank. Um, it's a completely blank file. So let me get it out here and I'll show you guys what it looks like in my test documents. So all it is, is just an empty TXT file. And I'll show you what it looks like. Look, there it is. There's nothing in it. I've saved it. That's all it is. But if I go back in here, and once I set that value rule, 
the file is not empty file and I preview and then I go ahead and try and upload that empty txt file there's an error saying the file is empty please add something to it and this one's fine because there's something to it so that's how it's done that's how you can use validation rules on your file upload from now on